All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn CSS animation by building a Ferris wheel. Step 21. So the animation iteration count property sets how many times our animation should repeat. This can be set to a number or to infinite to indefinitely repeat the animation. Our Ferris wheel should never stop, so we're going to set the wheel selector to have an animation iteration count of infinite, okay? So also the animation timing function property sets how the animation should progress over time, all right? Uh, there are a few different values for this property, but we want the Ferris wheel animation to run at the same rate from start to finish. We'll set the animation timing function to linear in our wheel selector. Okay, so we're gonna be, pardon me, so we're gonna be doing this and this. All right, so let's come over here. What was the first one? Animation iteration count. So let's come down here. Animation hyphen iteration. Whoops, hyphen count. There we go. And we're gonna say infinite. And then we're gonna come down here and say animation timing function, timing hyphen function. And that's gonna be linear like that. Okay, so I forgot what it looked like. <laughs> Let's just delete these for a second. All right. So it's stopping and now it's going forever with this weird uh, pace. No, 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 no. It's going at a, a steady slow pace now. All right. OK, cool. So let's check it. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 22 and we'll see you next time.